Hi everyone! This week we'll be doing Lesson 8, which is about Jesus and God the Father. We'll start with the introduction. Introduction Jesus is the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. Jesus said that He came to this world in order to reveal the Father and to fulfill the will of God. Jesus was always in contact with the Father. What's important here is to remember that Jesus came here because God the Father wanted Him to. And the entire time that He was on earth as a human, he was on a mission to complete that God the Father had put out for him. Jesus prayed to the Father. Jesus was in continuous communion with the Father in prayer. Here on this slide we note quite a few times that we see Jesus directly praying to God the Father. Jesus spent 40 days in prayer in preparation for his public life. Jesus prayed to the Father at the time of receiving baptism and on occasions where he worked miracles. These two we have talked about before in earlier chapters. Um, Jesus' public life was actually the time where Jesus went out and did teachings and gained all these followers. So in order to start all that, he received baptism and then that's when his mission started. So preparing for all of that, he did spend a lot of time in prayer with his Father. Jesus also taught his disciples to pray the Our Father. We also see Jesus praying to God the Father in the Garden of Gethsemane. He says, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. We also see that Jesus prayed and spoke directly to God the Father in the last minutes of his life on earth. During Jesus' crucifixion, he says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And then on his last minutes, he says, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Jesus and the Father are one. Jesus revealed that he and the Father are one quite a few times in the gospel. There was a part where Apostle Philip said to Jesus, Lord, show us the Father. Jesus replied, saying, Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? So by saying that, Jesus explains that if you know Jesus, you know the Father, and they are truly one in the same. Jesus also showed us that he liked whatever the Father liked. He did what the Father would please. At the time of the baptism, Jesus said, I'm sorry, God said, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We also see that God the Father reveals the Son at the Transfiguration, which we have discussed before. And then we also, later in the Gospel, we see that Jesus had addressed God the Father as Abba. The meaning of the word Abba is Father. And when he was a boy, the parents of Jesus said to him in the temple when they lost him, Jesus said, Did you not know what I am, that I must be in my father's house? All the works of Jesus were to show the glory of God the Father. Jesus and the Father are one. For that reason, Jesus prayed for his disciples using this. As you, Father, are in me, and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one. Thus, this shows in all works, Jesus continuously related himself with the Father. God our Father Since God is the Father of all of us, Jesus taught this. Be perfect, therefore, as your Heavenly Father is perfect. Jesus taught us that whatever we ask the Heavenly Father, He would give us. Jesus also taught that our Heavenly Father is merciful and there is no limit to His mercy or His forgiveness. This 
is shown in the parable of the prodigal son, where the son comes back to the father and the father is nothing but happy that he is back. God the Father is the creator of all of us. He loves everyone unconditionally and unboundedly. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but have eternal life. This is what we read in St. John chapter 3, verse 16. This shows that the incarnation of Jesus was an expression of God's love for us. For a parent, for any parent, to give up their son, their one and only son, for the rest of the world, that should show how much God the Father loves us. He was willing to do that for us so that we were going to be saved. It is through Jesus that we can experience the love of God the Father. Therefore, he who knows Jesus knows the Father. Father, who dwells in heaven, we servants greet you. There is no other Father who pities or helps us. You created us out of nothing in your anger. Let us not again. Be turned into nothingness, for we keep your Lord, and will praise you by means of our deeds of justice. Hallelujah. Have mercy on us. Life Witness Jesus continuously kept contact with the Father. It was Jesus who revealed the Father to us. Let us glorify and worship Jesus who revealed the Father to us. The verse to memorize for this lesson is, No one has ever seen God. It is God the only Son who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. This is what we see in St. John chapter 1 verse 18. The end of lesson questions for this week include the following. Describe the events when Jesus related himself with the Father through prayer. There's quite a few examples of this, so please try to include more than three. And then also prove that Jesus and the Father are one. Please use context from the textbook to help describe this answer. And then lastly, for the activity for this week, find another example in the gospel where Jesus directly speaks or prays to God the Father. Other than that, we'll see you next week.